Barros, thank you for coming on. Tell us your experience with social media. Sure. So live action is the lar has the largest following online for the pro life movement. Over three million people. Our videos have hundreds of millions of views online. And for the last three years, we have been totally banned from doing any advertising on Twitter. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood and other pro-abortion groups are advertising, and they're even advertising petitions to further suppress and censor live action and other pro-life groups. So this is what we've been facing now for three years. Look, kind of stand three steps back and make an obvious point. If the advocates for abortion really believed it was such a good thing, they wouldn't be so hysterically intent on shutting you down or letting another voice in. They, they know they're wrong, and that's why they suppress speech. But let me just ask the sort of practical question, how can that be? Do you have any recourse? I mean, these are, in effect, public utilities. Is there anything you can do about it? Well, we've, we've looked at it. I mean, we're, we're ultimately going on other platforms and making sure that we can reach people directly through our own website and finding other ways to reach people because ultimately Twitter has sided with the abortion industry. I mean, that's what's clear. Despite their claims, despite Jack Dorsey, their CEO, going on the news in the last several weeks and saying, look, we do not discriminate based on viewpoint. That's what we do not do at Twitter. He's flat out lying. He's lying to people. And we are, as you say, exhibit A. Look, the other part of this, like you just said, Tucker, is the fact that when people learn the truth, especially about this human rights issue of abortion, when they learn about what abortion is, what it does to, a, to the child in the womb, we have an abortion procedure series of videos that have been viewed over 100 million times. We survey people and they change their minds on abortion. People are having aha moments saying, wait a minute, this is, this is violence against a child. This is harmful to women. We don't want this anymore. That's what Twitter, I believe, is afraid of, because they know that when the truth gets out there about the humanity of the child in the womb, about what abortion is, the abortionists lose every time. Right. And that's why Twitter is so interested in defending abortion interests, because that's their ideology, despite the lies of their own CEO about them not having a viewpoint. Yeah, the last thing they want is a conversation about it. They want to squelch anything they don't agree with. Lyra exactly. Rose, thank you. Good to see you. Thanks, Tucker.